Right now, it is time for the uh, Development News of the Week, sponsored by Eagle Mortgage. Uh, Eagle Mortgage has been in business for 30 years. They're licensed mortgage brokers serving Nebraska and Iowa. Uh, They give free consultations for purchases, refis. You can get pre-approved for conventional VA and FHA loans. They're right at the corner of 114th and Davenport, just south of 114th and West Dodge Road. Go to EagleMortgageCompany.com. And uh, Holly and the team over at Eagle Mortgage uh, will take care of you. And you see all those for sale signs going up. There's an active business. Even though mortgage rates are coming up a little bit, you need somebody. You you need a qualifying letter uh, to show that uh, you're good for it. And in a competitive market, you want to get the best deal you can. And you want to get the house without picking your fifth favorite house out on the market. Well, economic um, development news. Blend Virtual Food Hall plans to open soon. The business will deliver food from multiple local local restaurants to consumers' doorsteps in one single order, or you can pick it up uh, on location at 107th and Q Street. The customers can purchase food from multiple vendors uh, and either pick it up uh, free of charge or have it delivered to your house. They have, they're um, in the former Amigos building right next to Jimmy John's. Uh, 10710 Q Street. And uh, Brian, some of the interesting food concepts. Have you ever had uh, Wonton John's breakfast burritos? No, I have not had those. They look pretty good. So I checked out their website. Um, this is uh, uh, Dean Hodges' family, his son Matt, and a partner. It's kind of a novel concept. Uh, some of the, look up these, uh, some of these things. There's, uh, uh, there's Omaha Cheesesteak Company. There's Omaha Soup Company, Deviled Egg Company, uh, Loaded Bowls, The Galley, um, Gravy Train, which is biscuits and gravy and all different types of biscuits. And, and so, so some of these unique concepts that aren't as well known as, as some of the franchise and things you, you see out there, but at least it's local. So we wish them the best of luck. Um, a new restaurant is coming to uh, the Inner Rail, the Exarban Food Hall. Um, Reagan's Lobster Roll Shop plans to open in the former Ola Mexican Eatery space at the at the uh, food hall. Um, lobster rolls. Peter, you ever eat lobster rolls? I did. I've had a couple of them, and uh, I really do like them a lot. In uh, in Boston, they're, they're pretty tasty. So that, that's something that's unique to the market. Here's one that I have had to practice to say. Nebraska's first Tula Ju, uh, that's my French impersonation, has opened next to Charleston's at 75th and Dodd Street, um, too legit. It sounds like too legit to quit, uh, which means every day in French offers 300 different items baked in store. The South Korean company has uh, 1,650 locations worldwide with 70 of them in the U.S. Hopefully they do better than Red, Red Mango in Omaha because that was the last South Korean, uh, and then they got competition. So excited for them. Here's something unique. The Switch uh, Beer and Food Hall at 36 and Farnham, just uh, north of the Blackstone, um, in the Blackstone District, beginning June 26th, they will temporarily close to the public. It will be reopen this fall under new management with a lineup of all new food and drink concepts. The Food Hall's new name will be Camp with a K. One of the tenants at the Switch uh, Beer and Food Hall is El uh, Aeropon Venezuelan Food. And it isn't going away. The restaurant plans to open a location in Bellevue within the next two weeks. So we'll look forward to that. Peter, were you ever a fan of Joe Test Place? Uh, I've gone there many times. They've been they're kind of iconic as far as I was concerned. South Omaha, definitely. So my dad's an sob was an sob a South Omaha boy and twentieth and Vinton. And I remember taking my grandma um, to Joe Test Place and seeing those big tanks. And I think one was like buffalo fish. The other one was something else. And to make gefilte fish, she knew how to. She came from Russia and she knew how to pick her own fish. And uh, I don't know what there she's looking for, but but uh, after 85 years of serving fried carp and other uh, foods, the legendary Joe Test Place has closed at 5424 South 24th Street in South Omaha. Not sure where that building's going to be, Brian. Uh, you, you got any ideas for it? Oh. <clears throat> Well, you know, it's it's got great visibility up there. I mean, you always as, you, as you're heading down the highway, so uh, I'm sure uh, we'll we'll have some ideas on what could happen there. I, it reminds me, my father-in-law is a, a farmer in Sarpy County, and 
uh, when I first married in the family, he one of his grain trucks was an old Joe Tess's fish truck. No way. Yeah, and I, <laughs> wow. I, I used to love it. I used to see, see it out on the place, and used to, it used to be used to, to carry just massive loads of fish in and out. And he uh, converted over to a grain truck. So well, that's that, that's a heck of a those. that's a heck of a run. Uh, Allen's Home Furnishings is resurgenced uh, after being forever uh, further east on L Street. They reopened seven months after the owners closed their longtime store at 78th and L. They're now open at 132nd and L Street along Industrial Road. Um, check out, it's a nice family that owns that. Uh, World of Wonder will celebrate a grand opening on June 24th for its new store in Papillion Shadow Lake Town Center. The store, formerly known as Apples and More, is moving from 1013 Galvin Road in Bellevue. World of Wonder sells educational supplies, learning games, toys and gifts for teachers, homeschool families, parents, and grandparents. Um, and lastly, in case you missed it, Grow Omaha published its first ever restaurant review last week. The series is called Grow Omaha Eats with Sarah Baker Hansen and will appear... Um, in the newsletter on the Grow Omaha website every other week. For her inaugural column last week, Sarah reviewed Koji in Countryside Village. Um, we went there about a week ago. Have you guys tried Koji yet? Mm-mm. No, I have not. So it's it's David uh, Yoshitomo who has in the um, in Benson has a, a really good sushi place. Uh, give it a shot. Um, and it sounds like also in Countryside Village, the, the front of Countryside Village um, just down the the building, the corner Starbucks, you know, is is out of there, and um, I'm trying to remember what uh, is going in there. Uh, Jeff was telling me about it. He talked to the manager over there. I, I got to remember, um, but it, but it's a local favorite. And I actually I believe yeah, I hope I'm not talking out of school, but I, I believe it's Saddle Creek Breakfast Club is going there. So I don't know if it's. Um, it's a yeah, second location. Right. I, yeah. I don't know if it's a second location, or or they're moving. We'll we'll have to uh, wait and see. And that's your economic development news of the week, brought to you by Eagle Mortgage Company, where they know mortgages. Find them at eaglemortgagecompany.com. Eaglemortgagecompany.com. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.